السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Good morning, my dear students. I wish you a wonderful day beginning with our science adventure. It's me, your teacher, Ahmed Ismail. Today, inshallah, we are going to speak about uh, plants and humans as organisms. As you can see in this picture, plant body, human body, and ex uh, insect, samples of multicellular organisms, okay? Our objectives for today, what are the main parts of plants, the structure of plant, the plant is an organism. This map shows where plants cover the surface of the earth. The map was made using information collected by space satellite. Okay. Here, as you can see in this picture of our plant, here are dark green places like you can see here dark green dark green here also dark green places these dark green places are rain forests okay these rain forests means raining most of the time or most of the year okay so with a lot of rains you will have a lot of plants as how we call it rain horse. The second one here, grassland forests. Here, grassland, here, here, here also, and here, here. This is light green color because the rains here are less than the place which called rain forests. Number three, here and here, here, also here, we call this desert, okay? At the desert, most of the year there is no rain, okay? There is no rain, so there is no plants, okay? The plants cannot find any water to grow, okay? So it cannot feed and cannot make any processes like photosynthesis process. Number three, here number, uh, number four, sorry, and here, and here, ice. Here, the temperature is very low, so we will have uh, ice, and maybe we cannot have plants at this time, Maybe after the, the change of ice to water, we will can have a new plants at this place. Why most plants are green? Can you answer this question? Of course. Most plants are green because a substance called green pigment, or we can call it chlorophyll, because they contain a green pigment or green color called chlorophyll. This chlorophyll, which helps plants to make photosynthesis process. The plant uses this energy to make food. Where can we get energy? We get energy from photosynthesis process, which give us sugar and what? Sugar and oxygen, okay? These are the results of photosynthesis process. So the plants use energy to make its food and to grow up. All the food that is eaten by animals was originally made by plants, okay? So the plants is the main source of food, again, 
the plant is the main source of food and the plant get their food from the soil and with the help of the sun and the process which called photosynthesis process. The questions here you should check. Look at the map and explain why some parts of the map are shown in dark green and some parts are light green as we explained at the beginning of our lesson. There are very few plants in the brown parts of the map. So just why there are not many plants in this, these places because there's no water, okay? So the plants cannot make its own food, okay? Uh, find the place where you live on the map. Check this map and find the place you live and you will write the properties of this place, the type of plants, okay? Do you agree with the information on the map about your part of the world? Explain your answer. Uh, if you checked your uh, place, uh, the place you live, you should choose which type is this place and why? What are your reasons? Animals can only live on Earth because there, there are plants on the Earth. Explain why plants live on the Earth. Here we will know the structure of plants. The structure of plants, as you can see in these pictures, there is four main parts. First one is roots. This is the first one here, the roots, which help plants to get their water from the soil. Second one is stem. Number three is leaves. Number four are flowers. Okay? Plant organs. Also, we can know here the plant organs. Organs composed of one or more tissues. Three major types, roots, stems, and leaves. The major types are three, okay? Roots, stems, and leaves. Why? Because some plants can, maybe doesn't, uh, some plants maybe don't have flowers and fruits, okay? Uh, the flowers and the fruits evolved from stems and leaves. So the major types are roots, stems, leaves. Here the structure of plant. Okay, here we should know the function of each part. Okay, and why or what these parts can help plants to. The structure of plant. Plant is a living thing. Another word for a living thing is an organism. So if I ask you, what is the meaning of organism? You will say the living thing is organism, okay? Which can eat and grow, okay? And move, okay? The parts of an organism are called organs. Any parts inside organism called organs. The diagram shows some of the organs in flowering plant, okay? Here, we will begin with roots. Here, as you can see, the roots as this place. The roots hold the plants firmly in the soil. It holds the plant, okay? They also absorb water and minerals from the soil. Absorb water and minerals from the soil. If I ask you, what can the roots absorb? You will say they can absorb water and minerals, okay? Number one, water. Number two, minerals, okay? So water and minerals from the soil. Second one is the stem, okay? The stem supports the plant, okay? Also, the stem holds the leaves and the flowers above the ground. This is the stem. It can hold here at both, side, both sides, leaves and flowers. 
okay and also sometimes it can store food for the plant okay uh, number three leaves here are the food factories of the plant they absorb energy from sunlight and use it to make food 